Good day farmers, welcome to Obit Farm. I'd like to thank everyone who's subscribing and liking the channel. Please, to those who haven't subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. It helps me grow, it helps me give more content. It helps me, me enjoy doing these videos for you and giving you information about farming and everything that has got to do with farming. Today, there's just a simple question. How valuable is farming? But now that's very good because farming is very valuable. I just want you to just go back to a very simple time. Very, very simple time and not very long time ago. 2019, COVID hits us. What's the first thing everyone did? Everyone went into lockdown. When we went into lockdown, a lot of things happened. You could not get things. You were not able to really get food on the market. You really struggled to get all the things that you needed to do. To, to actually have a day-to-day -day life. A lot of people I know actually ended up becoming farmers due to COVID. And not only that did they become farmers, it also meant that people started the projects that they didn't want. During their lockdown, especially the first three weeks whereby we were totally locked down, you could not buy shop, go anywhere shopping, you couldn't go um, do any of your day-to-day -day errands, Salaries some companies could not afford, so they laid off people. Companies um, laid off people, and when they laid off people, it meant that you you had nothing to nothing to to eat, and you ended up having to find ways of surviving. And the easiest way of surviving was actually just doing a bit of farming. This is not really a money maker, and like what people would think that ah, I will make a lot of money by just farming. No, you will not make a lot of money out of farming unless if you're going really into large-scale farming and you're really saying to yourself, this is large-scale farming. Then that is when this starts making a lot of money. But when you're doing it on a day-to-day -day thing basis, it does not really give you a lot of money and it's not giving you a lot of money, but it will make you survive. Make you survive to be self-sustainable and in time, probably once you start finding things that you can do very well and you start finding a market for everything that you're doing, then it starts making money for you. But the first things I want to say to people who want to do farming. One, always have an open mind about what you're doing. Do not be discouraged. I've watched a lot of people discouraging people saying, oh, don't do farming. Hey, you're going to lose out. Hey, don't do that. The market is flooded. Yes, all these things do happen. The market can be flooded. Every um, The thing that you're trying to do may be may have so many people who are doing the same project and that you want to do at the end of the day you've got to have one more additional skill which which is very important anyone you can right now anyone can start farming but you just need to have one real good skill can you market your product the minute you can market your product no matter how many other 600 other people who are doing the same thing you can market it you have a good quality product and you're able to provide the thing on time trust me your things will go on very well and no one can challenge you or no one can tell you that oh this is not happening or this is um your product is not good as long as you are able to be consistent you can have you have your own personal drive farming is about your own personal drive i don't want to lie to you you have to have your own personal drive no one is going to push you because you've got to push yourself if you do not make the sales hey you're not going to make any money if you're not going to find the market hey you're not going to be able if you're not going to learn to read about what you want to do and how you're going to do it you're going to pump out money into trying to give veterinary people and all those other the greatest school i'm not going to lie to you is this youtube youtube is the greatest school that you have when it comes to to farming and everything but i've actually seen gaps in youtube which are very very big People do not give you the full truth about everything that is happening. They just sugarcoat you and tell you the good things. And when this is really the bad part, they don't really tell you. And no one really tells you how to bring, uh, how to grow things from beginning to end. You um, and you being able to to utilize the um, the chemicals. You then need to then be able to to read in between the lines and then be able to go to finding also on um, on Google how to do it. The PDFs on how to farm a specific product. Like if I if I was to say how to grow um, onions, you will find people who are telling you onions. They're not telling you how to start the nest bed, 
which onion varieties yeah you'll find onion varieties about a, a bit but they will not tell you that at this week let's start spraying at this week let's start doing that but i also believe that there are also other apps which then do help you do um whereby those bits and pieces are missing like for us um if i'm correct in zimbabwe there is one called i've forgotten the name but if i do i'll put it up so that i'm a person people who are interested in zimbabwe and want to do it that thing i think it's kurima mario or something I, I don't know i've forgotten but i will put it up so that you have a clue about it once you go into that app it will give you direction how to farm what and um, when you put in but please don't also take those figures that they give you as as rocket science because some of those things don't work i don't want to lie to you some of those things don't work whereby they give you a spreadsheet of how much is going to how much you're going to how much you're going to take to to put in chemicals put in all those things trust me it may not work and you may find yourself having a heart attack at the end of the time when you're ready to go to market and you find that you're flooded with those products as i said Farming is about finding the right opportunity and the right time to put in your product into the market. If everyone is flooded at the same time, you're going to get a beating. If you don't, if you can keep the things until a bit later, the better. If you can't and you need to go into that flooded market, please know that that's a hit. There are times when I do get hits in this farm and I, it, it doesn't hurt me anymore. I'm now used to it. That you grow something. I grew some onions here which... Which when they came out, everyone looked at them and were like, wow, these are great onions. Go to the market, everyone was like, hey, you're not the only person. Please look to the next, to, the, to your right or to your left. Hey, they also have the same kind of onions. The prices were suppressed. These are the things that you need to be able to, to be ready to, to face as a farmer. Be, be ready to understand that farming is just an opportunity. An opportunity whereby at the end of the day, you will never go hungry. You, your, your plate can never go hungry. I'm going, not going to lie to you. During COVID-19, COVID one, I needed a chicken. I could slaughter myself a chicken. I needed meat. I could slaughter. I needed vegetables. I just went to the garden to pick up guard, to pick up vegetables. I needed milk. Hey, the cows were there if I needed milk for, the, for those people who want to drink uh, milk. Hey, if I don't have something, go to my next donate bus farmer. Hey, I need eggs. Personally, I did have eggs, but if I don't, if I needed eggs, next door farmer, hey, if you've got eggs, let's butter trade, let's change. These are the things that I believe in time you will understand being a smallholder farmer or being a farmer who wants to start off. These are the advantages of farming. Farming is not always about making so much money because i think everyone is so much driven in how much money can you make doing abc how much money can you make doing abc please let's stop this idea of always being driven by money we should be driven by it being a goal yes everyone wants to have money but the first goal is do you enjoy what you're doing i do enjoy this i've never had a day where whereby i feel depressed about farming no never even one day Things, um, some of the animals may die, but I'm never depressed. I have things that are not looking too well. I don't, I don't care. Tomorrow I'll find some happiness. Tomorrow I'll hear that the pigs have given birth. The next day I'll probably hear that the goats have given birth. The next day I've heard that the cows have given birth. That's why I do mixed farming, because I feel that I spread all my, my risk. My risk is so well spread that I do not have the heart attack of being told that today all 10,000 of your chickens are, are, are dead. I, will, I think I would, I would collapse if I heard that. But that is why I said it's mixed farming for me is great. But the reason I really made this video is for the person who said is farming, farming very important. To me, I just believe that the greatest thing is that if you did not learn anything in 2019 and if this situation reappears again, where are you going to get your food? Where is it going to come from? And you need to be very, very much able to say to yourself, I've got my food, everything is ready, I'm, I'm okay. If you're not okay, I think this is the best time to start farming. Hey, you do not need to start on 10 hectares or 100 hectares. Even one hectare, you can start. Even if you do not have a hectare, go back home to your, to your ancestral home and ask them for some land. They will give you land. Please do not look at farming as a, as a poor man's job. It is actually an opportunity for you to be successful. To all those people who want to try farming, please, I think this is an opportunity. Please go for it. 
do not wait do not wait there's not there's not a right time there will never be a right time thank you very much for subscribing liking the channel i hope this has been informative and thank you for all those people if those new people who are watching have not yet subscribed please subscribe to the channel thank you very much and have a good day